Good afternoon, Andy Johnson here, Adweek Europe. We're nearly there, folks. We're on the slippery slope down to party time but later on. Uh, before we do that, more discussion, of course. I've got Yvonne O'Brien from uh, Havis here. And uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about, Yvonne, was um, you launched some research recently about yeah. meaningful brands. Tell me about that. So we surveyed lots of people in lots of markets about <coughs> their attitude and opinion on brands. And, what brand, and, and our ultimate aim is to understand what makes brands more meaningful. Um, what's interesting is over the last few years, the stats have remained unchanged. Most people believe that brands add little to their life. And actually, more than nine out of 10 people believe that um, wouldn't care if brands disappeared. So, the, so for us, um, content marketing is a very big part of what we do at Havas. And really what we're trying to do is talk to our clients, talk uh, about really about how they can use content to forge more meaningful connections with, uh, with uh, clients. So a lot of that is rooted in authenticity, is how can we have a, an authentic dialogue um, with people about a particular brand? How can we have genuine storytelling? Um, and how really can we understand real people's lives in real time? And what sort of things enable you to do that and, to put that you, and that's great what sort of things enable you to do that to have that authenticity to, to yeah. storytelling is key I guess storytelling is key and I think we spend a lot of time looking at different brands and how they're performing and how they're doing this at the moment we're particularly interested in what fashion brands are doing I think we're seeing some really authentic and creative storytelling coming out of some of uh, European fashion brands at the moment the obvious one to mention is Gucci who's killing it at the moment, and a lot of that is driven by the romance they've created around a brand um, and how they've created a new story around Gucci. Um, and actually, what's coming through to me particularly is that element of creativity and that element of a creative voice at the heart of what they're doing as a brand. And something we've been talking about a lot this week, and I guess we'll continue to talk about, is the importance of things like user-generated content, yeah. live streaming and events. They are still crucial and need to be observed and used well, don't they? Yeah, I think I'm particularly in the idea, interested in the idea of events and how they can really work for a brand. Um, I think we're seeing some really interesting themes around domesticated retail, where people are actually taking a, a home envir environment and very, very much embedding it um, into the retail space. I think there's some really interesting things done by brands like at West Elm, for example, um, about how they're um, taking all their um, product and actually putting it in a real world environment. Sonos have done the same and taking a lot of cues from p how people are behaving in home. So I think all those are really, really interesting. Um, and I think uh, if we go back to fashion, what we can see with somebody like J.W. Anderson and what he's done with Hepworth over the last month or six weeks um, is, really, is really inspirational. Again, it's back to that creative voice uh, and how he's created a true moment and created, if you like, a pilgrimage to, uh, to Yorkshire in the process. Why do you think real-world content marketing actually matters? Because um, I think we all acknowledge right now that there's a, an element of um, fatigue with uh, virtual worlds. I think um, the idea of brand me and what we're actually pushing out about ourselves um, in the social sphere is lacking resonance. Um, and actually what we need to move towards is a, a more real portrait of our lives. Um, and that, again, goes back to authenticity. Um, and I think we need to move beyond, to quote somebody else earlier, hashtag marketing. Um, we need to really, really stop trying to do things so quickly and actually start thinking, using our brains again and thinking really about how a brand can work in content. Authenticity even more important, I guess, in this era where we're hearing the term fake news bandied about all over the place as well. Yeah, I, I think absolutely. Um, and then, you know, that very much quickly gets into a debate about brand trust. Um, and I think you can only really achieve brand trust through actually talking about the things you have a license to talk about, having an authentic voice, and a voice of expertise and something new and different to say. Um, and I think brands should be, shouldn't be afraid to be silent. And actually, if they haven't got a role to play, they shouldn't get into the debate. And just mark our cards as far as Havis is concerned over the next 
six to 12 months. What can we look forward to seeing from, from your company? Um, more joined up thinking around audience, more joined up thinking around how we can take uh, real world audiences right through to activation, uh, better thinking about machine learning and its real world applications. Um, and I'm also particularly interested in um, sound activated search, what that means for brand discovery and what it's gonna mean for the future of Google, etc. Finally, it's always a great week here at Adweek Europe. What sort of things have you really taken from it and enjoy from the, well, you've not been doing, doing the rounds and working yourself? Um, well, I'm nothing if not truthful. Um, I've, this has been a flying visit, so I was really keen to see Cambridge Analytica. I was really keen to understand what they've done, what, how they've used micro-targeting to support Trump. Um, and, um, and really, um, one of the other things I'm particularly interested in the moment, at, in the moment is Twitter and its role moving forward because for me, I think we need to focus more on storytelling and a more immersive story over time rather than just a snapshot. Well, look, thanks very much for joining us. I know it's been a very busy week for you. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the week. And thank you very much indeed, Yvonne O'Brien. You can follow us on Twitter and you can use the hashtag AWEurope.